Hey guys, so this is going to be the reading on Bella Hadid and the weekend and what transpired between them, if they're going to get back together or if they're completely done with one another or now, or what um, supposedly a lot of the songs that are on his newest album that I forget the name of are about her and um, their relationship. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and see what Spirit has to say about that. If you wanted to book your own personal private reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. And you can use coupon code BARBIE, all in caps, for 25% off your 20-minute or up reading with me. And that coupon code is good for multiple uses and it expires at the end of the month. So... Make sure you take advantage of that. And then also, Carlene and I will be on Station Head tomorrow. If you can't find me through the link, then just look up Psychic Bella Love on there. Um, we will be talking about Whitney Houston this weekend. And then next weekend, we will read on Bobby Brown because Station Head is where we don't have to censor ourselves. We can say things that we cannot on youtube without worrying about getting in some kind of trouble also um we are going to do the two giveaways that we didn't get to do last time and intentions body and skincare has been so kind to team up with carlene and i so that we can also do a giveaway each on our own instagram pages so what I will link our Instagrams down in the description box below for you to go ahead and follow all of us. And we will be posting that giveaway tomorrow as well. So let's see what they have to say about Bella Hadid in the weekend. trying to record as many videos as I can today and tomorrow guys so if you have a request or something that I told you was coming it will be soon and then make sure you guys have your notifications on and also check out my community tab and then my Instagram stories because that's where I'm always going to post and let you guys know if I'm taking a break or what's to come. Um, you know, especially in regards to when we're going to do things on Station Head. And there is still room, you know, for the Barb Psychic Party tonight if you wanted to join. We are only picking people that we know are legit and not going to cause problems. So some people did not get accepted into the group. <laughs> But it is going to be a fun time. So if you wanted to join, DM me on Instagram. I am Psychic Bella Love over there as well. And also if you were in Clubhouse, I just got on last night and I had to use the name Psychic Bella because they wouldn't let me use a longer username. <laughs> so let's see. First of all, I feel like he's the one that walked away from this relationship or caused the break of this time around because he's showing up as this emperor with this page of swords energy and it's like they did actually have plans where we're trying to get to the point of getting married guys um There was a lot of outside involvement that was going on, you know, that sort of with this wheel of fortune came to light. And since Abel's the one whose energy has shown up first, 
there's also this part of self-sabotaging through maybe not being quite so honest and causing somebody a lot of heartbreak to where they were forced to make a choice to walk away. pregnant at some point you guys don't feel a baby now but there was a pregnancy checking to make sure I was in me home for a delivery. <laughs> Alrighty, so Spirit, please tell us how does Bella Hadid see her connection, relationship with Abel, aka the weekend. Yes, we do have really readings on Justin Bieber and Haley coming up as well as Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik. And Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles. I didn't even know her and what was that guy's name? Jason something broke up. I thought they were married. And then all of a sudden, everybody was like, her and Harry Styles are together. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Because the last thing I'd been hearing was that she, like, fired Shia LaBeouf or LaBeouf or whatever his name is. If you guys want a reading on him and FK Twigs and that whole lawsuit thing, let me know. Because nobody's asked for it, so I didn't know if you guys were interested or not. Um, let's see. She feels like there's a lot, like, okay, first of all, it's like, there was a lot of deception with this moon card and this magician card. It's like, there was always deception, things that were coming out third party interferences, King of Cups and the Lovers, you know, like he was kind of slinging that thing around. But she felt like a lot of it was like, I'm trying to think of how to say this. <clears throat> because there's the Three of Cups here, it's almost like he was, and he was showing up as that King of Cups. Like he would try to use like emotional reasons as to why he would do it you weren't paying enough attention to me she loved me she was telling me i was okay like it's almost like he needed like constant attention and it wasn't just so much of oh you're throwing yourselves at the groupies who throw themselves back at you and you know you're just being a guy and getting led astray by your dick no, like she feels like there was emotional things going on. You were sharing your love with other people. You were telling these other people these emotional things to get them to, you know, stay connected to you. And it got to the point where she just felt like she was trapped in this relationship with a lot of emotional manipulation and not a lot of truth or not a lot of like grown up love that she felt like she deserved. And they just were fighting like crazy. Oh, okay. If he ended things with her, I feel like it was almost in an attempt for him to try to get her to like let up on him. You know, like how sometimes guys will do that. They'll try to like act like, oh, you're going to lose me. 
so that the girl back down on her like getting mad and holding him accountable for stuff and I feel like that kind of backfired on him because she's like I told you I'm sick of this <laughs> so let's see you'd want to get back together with the weekend. Spirit, is that what I'd you want to get back together with? Spirit, is that what I'd you want to get back together They still communicate is what Spirit is saying because we also have this Ace of Wands that was falling out as I was trying to put the cards back, which is talking about like there's been communication and talks about working things out. She does miss like the sexual connection that she had with him because she felt like that was really good, but she also feels like going back to him is also like a prison or death sentence of so to speak like emotionally like you're just gonna end up breaking my heart all over again she sees him as like he's just this cheater that's never going to change and so it's like we can take all the breaks that we want we can walk away all we want but at the end of the day has anything really changed because you know it's like here he is coming to her Telling her, like, let's work things out. I'm different. But she knows that even if she tried to work it out with him, one of them would end up walking away again. So there's a death card on this that she is done and she wants to move forward. She is really working on herself right now. Um, so there's the temptation for that. But it's like on a deeper level, she knows. Why are you going to keep going back to the same thing that hurts you when you don't get anything better out of it? So, let's see. Spirit, did Bella Hadid and Drake ever hook up while well, she was on a break from the weekend? Because I remember Drake threw her that birthday party and him and Abel were like supposedly not getting along well. Spirit, did Bella Hadid and Drake ever have any sort of fling relationship or whatever while her and the weekends were split up? Because then right after that, her and the weekend got right back together again. <laughs> yeah, but it was more about her trying to get back at the weekend. Ace of Swords, the Devil, Three of Cups, Knight of Swords, Page of Wands. It's like it was an immature, like... Ha ha, I'm getting back at you. She got what she wanted with the Temperance card, the Wheel of Fortune, but with the Six of Swords. It's a happiness that didn't last, you know, and she ended up having to deal with the fallout of that, too. And Spirit's saying that he, like, threw that in her face, too. Like, oh, you were hooking up with Drake. You were hanging out with Drake, and we weren't together. Like, that's something that he would throw in her face when she would question him about stuff. So... Evil, why do you have boy mentality, behavior, energy? We thought you were different. <laughs> Spirit, please tell me. How does the weekend, aka Evil, feel, perceive his relationship with Bella Hadid? They said he's not done with her. Like, he thinks that they're going to get back together again. Because she always takes him back. It's like, oh, you know, you can play tough right now. You can tell me that it's never going to happen or this or that. I'll wear you down. I always do. Alrighty. 
does know that he self-sabotages a lot of their relationship between the fighting, the leaving, and then, oh, I'm going to beg and I'm going to win you back. Then we're going to fight again, you know, and then I'm going to get you back again. Like, he just honestly feels like this is the way that we do things. It's fine. <laughs> but see, it's like, and then he thinks that, oh, you know, we get back together and then like one of us hurts the other one. Then we work it out. Then there's too much temptation. Then we're sitting here trying to fix it. But why are you like so like whatever we have a toxic relationship that's just how we are like no that's not nobody should just have a toxic relationship that's just how we are oh, spirit is it weekend when we get back together with fellow spirit is it weekend I also find it interesting that the girls always come up as he cheated on me and like he hasn't acknowledged that himself from his perspective. <laughs> he still thinks that there is some chance that they're going to fix this and get married. However, inside he knows that he has a problem with not being able to be faithful and that he is really going to have to work on that if he thinks that he is going to get to that place someday. And see, it's like Spirit says, if they get back together... It's going to end very quickly because with this judgment card and the seven of pentacles, the tower and the page of pentacles, it's just that's when it would be done a hundred percent for good. No coming back whatsoever, even though right now, ace of pentacles, six of pentacles and seven of wands, he does think that he's going to find a way to get her to give him another chance and that they'll work things out. So let's see if they actually are going to work things out. At least he actually finally acknowledged that he can't keep it to himself. <laughs> Spirit for the weekends and Bella Hadid going to get back together. Let's Again, if they do, Justice, Five of Swords, Three of Cups, Double Card, Four of Swords, it would end extremely badly very quickly. Um, I feel like they're going to talk and then she's going to find out about some other woman that he either had around when they were still together or that was around during the time that he was trying to win her back and that's gonna really be that final like nail in the coffin where she's done so with go work on yourself able spirit keeps talking about too like sometime in spring early summer could be sooner than that we're gonna see or start hearing whispers about her with somebody else that's like a pretty well-known person and Everybody is going to be like, oh my God, he's going to shit his pants, you know, about it. And he's going to just like try to go find somebody else to like show off, to like distract everybody or act like he doesn't care, but he does. 
So anyways, guys, I love you all so very much. You know, I just have to say, I think Abel is that guy that thinks that like, because a girl has given you multiple chances in the past, that it means that you're going to have millions more and they can't rise up to be a better guy for the girl, but then they get pissed off when the girl moves on and finds somebody who can do better for her. That's a you problem, Abel. Go work on yourself. <laughs> Anyways, it, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Station Head and Instagram, and I will see you guys all again soon. Bye!